Hello everybody, this is Francesco from Movement Monastery and today you are watching Stunts in Real Life from Ninja Assassin Part 2. If you enjoy this content, make sure you hit that like button and then make sure to subscribe for more to not miss out. There are about 20 skills that I did inside this video. Make sure you stay till the end of the video because at the end I'm going to be showing the move that took me over four weeks to figure out. Let's get to this lineup. So I ended up doing this off the top of my truck. I did a front flip off my truck, I slid in the truck bed, and then I side flipped out of it. I hadn't done something like this in a long time. It's a double Kong. A double Kong is pretty much when you push off an object with your arms and then you load your arms forward again, reach forward, place your hands down, and then use them again as you come off another object. So you're going over two objects, one, the other, and then there's blank space in the middle sometimes. So I just ended up setting up two of my vault boxes I used to teach classes with and did my double Kong over that. A Kong to a precision is a Kong fall into a precision landing. A precision landing is when you land with two feet on the edge of an object or on a very small object and then you control yourself and stop. So I ended up setting up the same box as I did my double Kong on in a fashion where I could Kong over it and get my two feet underneath me for the second part. I do have a more sketchy Kong precision I did a long time ago, so I'll include that one in this YouTube video as well. All right, so before Deadpool made the term superhero landing popular, we used to just call the landing on your knee like that a ninja landing. So in this video, I do a back full twist, which is a back flip with a 360 twist in it, and I land in a kneeling position. This is a great alternative for you to do because you actually don't have to land the skill on two feet afterward, but it still looks just as cool. In the car chase scene, there are three ninjas that go over these cars in vaulting fashions. One of them does a Kong vault, the other one does a safety vault, and the other one does a shoulder pop. So here's those three back-to-back -back movements. I couldn't get someone to let me use their car for this, and my cousin had already sold his car by the time I was gonna shoot this part of the video. So I just did it over some blocks. Take a look at it and let me know what you think. In this next scene, you see one of the ninjas doing two strides into a cat leap across these like metal things inside the movie. So I ended up setting up two vault boxes at a local parkour gym and then did strides off that and jumped through a wall for a cat. All right, I spent an hour and a half walking around at the university trying to find a good location to do this. The reason why this skill was difficult to find is I needed to find a high to a low level of a corner to corner jump. These are very tricky because it's really hard to spot where you're gonna land in a corner to corner jump because the ground is increasingly getting farther and farther away from you. So eventually I did find this rail I could jump off of to the top of this roof and I had to tie my tripod to the rail with my watch and an auxiliary cord I had in my fanny pack. We're coming to the hardest skill I've ever had to do, probably, and it's called a dash bomb. A dash bomb is when you do a dash vault, tutorial coming soon, so stay tuned. A dash vault is when you get your legs out in front of you, like that, and you put your hands down and go over an object. It's one of the cooler looking vaults. You can kick your legs back after doing the skill and turn it into a front flip. So that's called a dash bomb or a dash front. I'm gonna have a tutorial for the dash bomb coming out because I wanted to share my experience with it. This is a move that was really at the end of my skill level, and so I'm really excited to share that journey with you. It took me four weeks training two times per week 
to get this skill. And I had a lot of nasty falls along the way. In any case, eventually I did land it, and it's in here for you guys. All right, everybody, I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit that like button and also make sure to hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned because I have a lot of tutorials coming your way for breakdancing, parkour, capoeira, tricking, all different types of movements. I also have lots of new stunts in real life videos coming your way too, so stay tuned for that. Thank you, everybody, and you have a great day.